All right, so welcome to the happy return. This is just some final comments on these uh, various relationships on poly, uh, polygons. So in the previous video with triangles, we talked about midpoints and then medians as well. So I can put a link up above to that. It's uh, worth a watch maybe before this one. And in this uh, short video, I just want to talk about uh, quadrilaterals. So basically four-sided figures and their midpoints, okay, within each side, and also some diagonals uh, with regards to parallelograms. So there's some very neat relationships that can help you uh, once you know, okay, some of these little small little tricks. Okay, so let's take a quadrilateral and I want to just do a random one for you. So let's scatter. I mean, it's, it's kind of sometimes hard to try to just be arbitrarily here, but let's, there it is. And I'm going to connect. Okay, so let's connect these. Let's make them vertices right here. And here is our four sided polygon. So quadrilateral right here. So now it's interesting to note that <clears throat> from the previous video on the triangles, which I told you there was a link up above. Uh, midpoint is basically, if you take a line segment, it is the middle point where it divides the line segment into two equal halves. So for instance, I can take, now I'm gonna arbitrarily kind of just say, all right, so here is the midpoint, which means, so this side, and this is a little bit off, I guess. So let's make it, um, Okay, so let's something like that, so that this side is equal to this side. Okay, let me blow this up. And you can do that to every single side. So I can put uh, some a midpoint here, a midpoint here, and then a midpoint here. And then so those will be equal. Now, obviously the halves are not necessarily equal on all of them, all right? But what you do have is, you know, and I'll change colors, Okay, so that this side is equal to this side. So the two pinks, all right, the greens are equal. It doesn't mean that the greens are equal to the pink. Okay, so what I mean here is by this, you know, when you split that in half, obviously, as you can see it even through the picture, it's not equal to that. But um, all the different sides are, are equal. Now, once they're equal, okay, then what we can do is we can draw and connect those midpoints together. So we can do that. I'm just noticing this one might be a little bit off. We can do a better job here. So now if I connect these through, so for instance, if I do this, so I'm gonna connect this one, I'm gonna connect that one, I'm gonna connect this one, and I'm gonna connect this one. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Now, if I perfectly have done this, okay, and this one is, I guess, a little bit off. So let me try to make it a little better so that it's also visually, you know, we can see that that is happening. So let's say we have that, okay. If I would have done this, these midpoints correctly, there's an interesting thing that happens here. What happens is that this quadrilateral, which is the connection between all the different points here, so between these midpoints, it turns out that these would be parallel and also these would be parallel. So what you have created is a parallelogram made up of the midpoints as being the actual vertices in any quadrilateral. That is super neat to know. It's very, very neat to know. Now, why is that the case? Okay, that's something that typically, you know, if you are in grade nine and you're starting these things, you may not really be asked this. But from the previous video, what we have talked about is triangles, and then we also talked about midpoints there. And there was a very neat okay, idea with the base being parallel to the connection of the two midpoints. 
So I want to just bring this up here. So when you drew a triangle, so let's say it was any triangle, and now, okay, you created the midpoint. So let's say the midpoints were right here and you connected those midpoints. We found out <clears throat> that we had this being parallel to our base. Okay, so these two were parallel. And we can use this concept of this, okay, in order to show that indeed you have a parallelogram created here. How can we do that? Because we can divide these into basically two. So if I take this triangle right here, so I'm gonna cut this in half, okay? So let me kind of do that and let me, so that's the first one. So that is a triangle. And notice in that triangle, okay, you basically have, so here is your midpoint and midpoint. So it's basically this and this, and this line right here so that we have, let me shift this over so that shouldn't show you. So this connection right here is basically that base right here, all right? And notice, so in here, what do we have? We have that these two lines were parallel, which means that this right here, so this connection and this, these are parallel. And now you can flip and do that same thing with the other triangle. So if I would now, okay, do this, so this flip triangle right here, okay, and connect that, Extend this right here. Okay, so if we have that, which is that triangle, and that means that we also have, okay, so in this case, so it would have been, so it kind of looks like that as a triangle, right? Okay, so let me kind of flip it like that. So we have this, all right? And notice this right there, Okay, so that is your connection. So these right here, that is your connection right there. And these are also parallel. So that means, okay, that this must be parallel to that and this must be parallel to that, which makes those two upper lines parallel, all right? And you can do the same thing with these lines that you have there. So these lines right here, and now it's being a little, okay? So these, you can do exactly the same thing with the same trick by dividing the, the quadrilateral in this way, all right? So that's what you would see there. And you would find that indeed, every quadrilateral is actually, if you're going to make the midpoints and connect them, those, those connections will create a parallelogram. That's really, really neat to know. Now, in grade nine, they won't really ask you to show this. Uh, I doubt it. Maybe some teacher might. I wanted to show this out in case maybe, you know, somebody's watching and is interested in that. And sometimes it just goes over people's head, but it's super interesting to, to note. All right. So, I just wanted to mention that first concept in quadrilaterals and connection of midpoints. Now, another very interesting thing that happens in quadrilaterals that you may be interested in, if you do create a parallelogram, so let's say we're gonna create some parallelogram. All right, so I'm gonna connect this out. Again, it's not, I might not be drawing these perfectly. Okay, so if we have a parallelogram, so these two okay, are parallel and these two are parallel, now, if you take the diagonals, <clears throat> so if I do, for instance, this, so here's my first diagonal, and then there's my second diagonal. So it turns out that these diagonals bisect each other, okay? So they bisect each other. So bisect meaning they cut each other in equal halves, all right? So what that's saying is that this is equal to this, and then this is equal to that. That's another very neat thing. 
and how you can figure this out, right? You can actually use congruent triangles to prove this. So what you can try to do is you can say, okay, this triangle right here, okay, is congruent to this triangle right here. And if they're congruent, then indeed, all right, those are gonna be equal, meaning you would have this equal to that, and then this equal to that. The uh, congruence that you can show, and I'm gonna put a link, I guess, up above to the video on congruent triangles. So there's basically kind of a few uh, tricks to know how you can show congruency. And in this case, you can literally show that, you know, this angle is the same as this angle. And that is because you have two parallel lines, okay, and a transversal, which is cutting them through. So you have the Z pattern, and then you have the opposite Z pattern, which is this one. And of course, so that means you have basically angle, which is shared with this angle, okay? This side is shared with this side because of the fact that it is a parallelogram, okay? So that we have within here. And then finally, this angle will be shared with this angle. So you have the congruence of, okay, angle, side, angle, which uh, will show you that you, these two are congruent. All right, and with that, okay, that means that indeed, okay, those two, so this one and this one, and then this one and that one, okay, are indeed bisected and in equal halves. So that will be it, okay, we'll see you in a future video. Bye, everybody.